Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, I'm the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to another edition of On the Bench with Sport Fishing on the Fly. Uh, today I'm going to be tying a uh, great little, well, great little, a uh, large pike streamer. Um, this is for, I've done really, really well with this for pike and uh, lake trout. Um, I've sent a few different uh, color patterns of the same fly to a few buddies uh, uh, that use them for gerards, and they've worked really well as well. So, uh, big fish. This is a, it's a large fly. It's about four and a half inches long, five inches long. Something like that. So I tie them into separate, several different lengths, but this one today is going to be about four inches. So let's get her going. So in the vise today, we have a size two aught um, Mustad Ultimate Predator. Uh, it's a very, very large uh, uh, hook. So um, it's got this nice little offset bend. If you can see that there, really helps hold that uh, the fish on. So um, it is a barbless. So. Um, I'll, I'll explain the materials as I go here, but uh, I'll start off with some Zemperfly Nano Silk in black. Um, key to this pattern is wax, 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 and wax it again. Uh, lots of wax on this pattern. Um, the material we're going to be using is fairly slippery, so uh, you want to wax it. So start off leaving, you know, three, four hook eyes gap in the front just open wraps back until I get to about the tip of the point of the hook just cut off my my waist and I'm gonna just again open wraps come back and it takes some silver hollow tinsel this one happens to be a uni mylar um, I also use the uh, Semperfly um, hollow tinsel so and it's is in silver um, and then just tie it on. This is just going to be an underbody. You're not going to see it too much, but as the uh, wing material moves in the uh, in the current and in the uh, um, as you're stripping it in and it flexes open and closed like it it, it breathes, um, you'll see this underneath. So it's uh, it's just nice. Sometimes I'll even put a little bit of I'll use the same stuff but red, and I'll leave a bit of a red butt. But uh, so now just. Touching wraps over, just slightly overlapping. You don't want to have any gaps. I mean, if you do, it's like again, it's not, it's not really overly critical because it is, uh, like I said, it's an underbody more than anything. It's only seen from time to time. So just come up to about there. Three, four over top. Three, four in front. Vice a turn. Cut that off. Turn it back. So now, next step here is I'm going to take some um, of this. Uh, uh, Semperfly makes a, a one called Predator Fiber. Um, this one is actually from a company called Royal CC. Here. Uh, Flash and Slinky, it's called. The reason I like this one, um, I, I really like the Semperfly one as well, but this one's already got these fla this flash, uh, this lateral skill flash right in it so I really like it for that so that's what I'm going to use today so I'm going to take off about a about a finger width right um, of the material so about a finger width and about about five inches I'll take off just give or take four or five inches and I'll nip that off the pack so now, if I put this on just like I did, like 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 this, it's okay. But you see, that's not much of a taper back here. You want this a bit of a that bait fish taper, right? So I'm just gonna pull it back a bit and like let it go in the front and pull it back. Just make sure that it's has that uh, angle. And this material will some of it will come out. So now that it's got some of that angle, I have to cut the front even again. So just did that my in my waist bin, and you want this this taper, the the shorter portion down, right? So, like that, that'd be good, right about there. So now I'm just going to transfer that over. Going to make sure my thread is really well waxed here. 
okay and what I actually like doing I usually do this before I cut cut off the material is I'll just come and just I've waxed it really well just put a base layer down of the wax thread and now I'll wax it again so now I've got that wax on the hook shank to help hold there and then I've got the uh, wax on the thread so now I'm just going to take a couple of loose ish wraps and then I'll just tighten up and bring it forward and just tie all this material in really nicely don't worry about what the front looks like it's going to kind of look a little ugly at first but that's totally fine again just come back over top and there so there is the one piece okay now I'll take about the same amount maybe a little bit more I'm uh, sorry a little bit less of the blue version of the same stuff so a little bit less than than I took there amount wise but lo I want this a little bit longer so about there I'll cut it off right about there same thing I'm just gonna just pull the uh, pull it a bit so it's got that taper put that in right about there wax again can even just wax right on and wax my thread you can even put a little dab of uh, a crazy glue or whatever on there if you'd like uh, and that's up to you if you feel more comfortable with that then do that but I don't like doing that myself I, I rely on the uh, the wax here so now again really tight bring this forward excuse my fingers here but bring this forward 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 all the way okay then what I like doing is I like taking these little these little hair clips right? and I'll just clip it like that it keeps the material just keeps it from getting in the way right so again nice and tight just building up a bit of a head I want to try to cover this front a little bit but again it's you'll see at the end it's not overly particular that this is all covered but uh, I'm just gonna try to there, just a little bit of a okay now I'm gonna take some teal flank or mallard flank either one and uh, this is a, a large like a large feather that's going to be quite uh, quite long uh, which I want in this case okay I'm just I'm just peeling off the uh, the fluff on the bottom of the feather I'll show you in a sec so I've just prepped the feather by taking all the fluff off the bottom here and now I'm going to expose the tip now sometimes I'll tie on a um, a red one first and then the blue one uh, just is it's almost acts as a like a hot spot but uh, I'll be doing a different hot spot on this so so I'm just tying that on double that back tie it in that way I know that's tied in really well then I'm gonna take my scissor and just cut off that, uh, that tip excess waste there got a long enough piece there and not long enough for a handle so now I'm just gonna stroke all this stuff out and then train it back fold it back and then hold it back and do a turn and then again make sure the stuff stays back it's not a huge deal because I can always brush it out if I don't get it all out but try to get as much as you can out as you come around and then open up just a bit because you're not going to see the see it that I'm almost palmering it not not quite but I'm leaving a bit of a of a gap because I want this to come forward a bit not a ton though I do want to leave a bit of a, a head section here and I'm just going to come up tie that off really 
tie that off nice and tight there. Get rid of that stem. Okay, and now, right away, I'm just going to whip finish right here. And then I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to put just a dab. This is uh, M300M from Mercury Adhesives. It's basically crazy glue. Just put a little dab on it. Just a little tiny dab for now. Then, taking some Semperfly. Uh, this is the uh, Floral Red. In a 12 watt. Um, I don't have it in an 8 watt. If I or a 3 watt, if I did, I would I'd use that just because of just for what I'm doing. I'm just creating a hot spot here, so and it would just help a bit by by having that. But it's not a huge deal. So now I'm just going to create a bit of a hot spot head here. I come back till I get up to about where that core of that. Uh, last feather was there and then come back down just want a really nice really bright really predominant looking um, hot spot head here it's just an attractor more than anything it doesn't really represent anything it's just a it's an attractor a hot spot get their attention so okay now when I'm got back there finish that off Then I'm just going to take my brush and just brush out the uh, feather fibers here from the teal flank or guinea or uh, mallard, whatever you decide to use. Okay, and now, this is my favorite part. These stone faux soft heads. Uh, this one happens to be, I think, the medium. Uh, yeah, this size too clear. These are a soft head. These are awesome because they are literally a soft head so I can squish them and stuff. But So I'll, I'm just going to shove that on, see where that sits. That looks actually really, really good where it's sitting. It came nice. So now I'm just going to take that back off again, back to that M300M. And just put a... A good dab and even if it gets a little bit into the into the blue it doesn't really matter right into the feather itself Put a good dab all the way around this a nice dab and then shove this back on as far as you can and then pinch and that's it it's done it ain't coming off not with this stuff this m300m is amazing this mercury adhesive stuff so I don't like using it for like chronomids and stuff because it does get a little milky but for this it doesn't really matter so so now that that's done what i really like doing is i'd like getting those raised eyes the more of the fish eyes the raised ones and i like getting them with the blue unfortunately i ran out of the buggers so um but i have done like this is the one i use for when i tie the same pattern with the green so when i use these pearlized eyes uh they're uh, the tape eyes right so that's what i'm going to use now um, I would prefer to do it in blue with this one, but uh, I said I ran out of the buggers. But so now I'm just going to put that right in the center of that that soft head. One, two. And there's one final little step after this. Once I get this done. Well, actually two steps but so two and then what I like doing is I like taking a just an inexpensive um, uh, UV resin this one again is another one just that I picked up from uh, on Aliexpress from I guess from China and I just put a dab on there rub it around just make sure that there's no real bubbles in it or anything and just hit that with your light Okay, once that's done, go to the other side. I mean, you can use any UV resin. I mean, if you if you got Gulf or, or Loon or whatever, but I just, look, for this, I like using this cheaper stuff just because I like using the the, the, uh, the Gulf resins for my, uh, my body coatings. So there, that's done. Now, one last little step here is I take 
clip off. And I'm just going to use my brush and just brush out some, some of these because there's going to be some loose ones in there. Not a lot, but some will come out. I like brushing that off. And guess what? There's your finished fly. That's it. Like I said, I tie this like this, and I'll tie it as well with the, with it, the same, but with, with the chartreuse, with this one, the chartreuse green as well. And then I'll use a chartreuse uh, teal flank or, or a mallard flank or whatever you've got, right? So, um, yeah, and that's it. And this is, like, like I said, you see that little silver underbody? It doesn't show up too much, but when this is pulsing through, it does. Um, sometimes I'll even match it. I'll put a blue... Um, blue holographic body on or a green holographic body on um, and like I said sometimes I'll even put a little bit of red into it just add to, to add as another just another attractive color right so but yeah that's it so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one and um, thanks for uh, watching another episode of on the bench with sport fishing on the fly